Hey, my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Kyla Black. Y'all, the rap queen is doing it again. So here is what's been reported. Nicki Minaj, last time I saw you, debuted at number 23 on Billboard's Hot 100. This is her 133 entry on the chart. So congrats to Nicki, y'all, because this turned out to be the highest debut of this week. Like, last time I saw you literally has no video, no radio play and definitely no push from Nikki's record level but yet gets to do all these numbers like Nikki is literally amazing and incredible when it comes to the rap game let me tell you something y'all Nikki ain't done yet because last time i saw you debuted at number four on billboard's digital song sales chart this is her number 56 top 10 song on the charts Y'all, am I the only one who thinks Nicki Minaj last time I saw you would have gone number one if it had a music video, radio play, and push? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving over to Doja Cat. So y'all, it turns out Doja Cat's demon debuted on Billboard's Hot 100. So here is what's being reported. Doja Cat's demon debuted in number 46 on Billboard's Hot 100 this week. Congrats to Doja, but do you think... Demons would have debuted higher or lower on the chart. Let me know in the comment section below. Please like, subscribe, and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that you don't miss out on all the tea I'll be dropping. And please subscribe to my other channel in the description, Gaia Likiaka. Moving on to the industrial plastic bag, aka Floppy B and Demonic Doja. So it turns out Floppy B admitted to the fact that she really wants to work with Demonic Doja on a collab. And I'm not surprised Floppy B said this because she's literally hopping on every artist who is popping in the industry and wants to do a collab with them to save her flopping career. How do you feel about all of that? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to the tea of the day, y'all. So it turns out Nikki will not only be performing once but twice at this year's VMAs. She'll be performing Last Time I Saw You and the Hip Hop 50 Tribute performance and I'm like, go girl, you deserve this, you own this, you run this shit and I can guarantee you, all of these performances are gonna be incredible let me tell you something y'all, I ain't done yet, there's more tea so here is what the Video Music Award posted Major News, these legends are coming together to celebrate the 50 years of Hip Hop with a can't miss VMA performance. We have MC Daniel. In fact, I'm gonna just focus on what I want. Nicki Minaj is performing, but you know who ain't performing? Floppy B, the industrial plastic bag. I didn't see her name on the list, and yet she claims to be the it girl who runs the streets and the rap world. <laughs> and I'm like, honey, stop being delusional because the music award thinks differently and sees things differently. Let me tell y'all something, Nikki owns this shit y'all, but I'm gonna get into that later. Let me elaborate on why Floppy B the industrial plastic bag can never be performing at this award. Why? First off, let me tell you something. She got no impact, she got no influence, and she got no real and organic fan base, and everyone sees that. And y'all, I personally think Floppy B, the industrial plastic bag, does not deserve to be on the top 50 best hip-hop artists of all time. Because she has literally done nothing to the industry. The last time I checked, she has released one album in six years. And let me tell you something, y'all. The only reason why that album did that much numbers was because it got a lot of Piola help, got a lot of money, put into it to push that album and a lot of radio play if you guys think that was not the reason floppy b does all the proving herself because the last time i checked before she renewed her package with piola she has been flopping non-stop she has been getting low numbers could not debut on the forties of billboard charts for two years now y'all the last time i checked she debuted at number 55 with her husband of the cheat when they released the song Jealousy and used countless number of PR stunts to boost the album. Yet it still flopped y'all. So I see no reason for her to be performing at this award and to get all the recognition she keeps getting. Moving on to Nikki the queen of the game. 
Well, Nikki deserves this. I think it's long overdue. She deserves her flowers. Like, Nikki is outstanding, versatile. She's all over the place, making hits nonstop. Like, 2023 is officially hashtag Nikki's year. Like, Barbie Wild did so much. Last time I saw you, is still doing amazing. And not forgetting, Princess Diana, y'all. If there's one word to describe Nikki at this point, it's incredibly outstanding. Because if Nikki was not in the rap game, honey, trust me, no female artist would have been performing at this year's VMAs in honor of the 50th anniversary of hip hop. And there's literally no capping about that. It's not even arguable. Nikki is the only reason why hip hop is doing this great at this point in time. No shade on all the other outstanding female rappers who are doing a lot for the industry, but it does not change the fact that Nikki always makes an outstanding and unique impression when it comes to her own music. Like she's do just so different. She's created so many trends, made hip hop popular as it is today, and like so many other artists contributed to that. But Nikki is one of the main reasons why hip hop and the female rap world is where it is today do you think the same thing let me know in the comment section below please like subscribe and do not forget to comment on what you think about all of this in the comment section below and turn on your notification buttons so that you don't miss out on all the tea i'll be dropping because trust me honey it's definitely gonna be juicy